Well, how do that, chums, as you can see, people? I'm going to be playing the Outer Worlds yet again. Yet again, people. I have a cup of tea with me today, people, as well, inside of my merch mug. I guess I do. Oh, that's, that's, that's a pretty weak cup of tea as far as weak. I, I made that a bit too weak. Anyways, let's, uh, let's hit continue, people. Chicka boom and we're loading in my save. We're going to be jumping over to a stranger in a strange land. And here we go, peeps. I right, call N rays are exotic effects discovered in the early 20th century. Okay, fine. Um, have no idea what that's all about, but fine. I'm I'm into game. Here we are, people. Look at that. I'm buy a loaf of bread. Various snaz. Okay, come on in. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay, I can't remember what i did last time that's a bit of a problem isn't it right well let's go and have a look at my how do i bring up the pad thing here we go journal right well i want to take off i want to blink in take off yeah i'm not gonna i don't think i think i've completed all of those so yeah stranger in a strange land we're doing that one return to the unreliable oh great we're returning to my ship it looks like we are going to get to take off people can i do that in fast travel mode let's have a look the unreliable where are you there it is Okay. <laughs> First travel. Brilliant. Oh, I like that. The anatomy of one of those dog, cat, razor beast things. Oh, it's a rap a raptodon. Sorry, people. A raptodon. Of course it is. Everybody knows a raptodon. Right, well, let's head on in then. Um, none of those those fine people about. And I'm only just taking this young lady with me. Come on in. Well, let's go then. I thought we was going to take the priest guy as well. I thought he was coming along for the journey. <laughs> Is this your oh ship? My star. She is just so handsome. Hopefully you can hear her just fine. Let me just oh. check the levels, see if she's actually coming across okay, <laughs> people. Babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine. Belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but... Every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. Okay, I can understand you not wanting to go back. Really, I should put on my headphones, shouldn't I, people? That would be an idea. And then I can hear what she's saying as well. Because I was probably trying to talk at the same time as her. My headphones are caught under my wheel <laughs> of my chair. Plug them in the headphones. Headphones, headphones, where are you? I wear this pair. Okay, all right, fine. Let's go. You've never been on a ship before. I've worked on the occasional supply well, coach that's not repairs. coming through the headphones. Let's try again. Once I built a little model craft out of spare parts, but Mr. Thompson found out yeah, for I fun times. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But can I come with you? Uh -huh. I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? That's better. Yes! I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain. Captain, I indeed! I call you Captain now. Yes, you can. So That's you my name. Can. Captain Steve. Captain Steve. I could just shoot her in the face right now. That's perfectly lined up. Right, well, let's go in then, then. Let's go, let's go. She knows me, people. She knows me. She knows I'm the captain. Yeah, and the audio levels look good. Oh, the priest's already in here. Hello, Vicar Max. Oh, sorry. Well, I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. <laughs> I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. Hold on, hold on. No, no. One second. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts? I don't want you to go take her freaking room. I just said that she could have first dibs on room. Don't you be going around with your priestly ways and taking rooms. Okay, I'd like to know about how I'm flying with. What's your story? Yeah, go on then. I know. Yeah, do that. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Just your run of the mill vicar with a violently enthusiastic disposition. That's slightly worrying. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I eventually learned how to channel it into my quest for knowledge. But my childhood? That is a different tale. I grew up in a pit of a town much like Edgewater. I was destined to be a laborer like my parents, but I was infected early with a need to solve the equation. My passion didn't sit well with them. 
My parents, ironically. Oh, yeah. They internalized the precepts of scientism like no one I've ever known. They had a pure faith, a faith that brought joy to them regardless of the situation. I envied that. Hmm. I wanted that peace. I thought if I became a vicar, I could find it. Or at the very least, find out why I lacked it. Okay, fair enough. That's, that's a decent enough quest. That's a decent enough quest, isn't it? Okay, well, tell me about the your... The simple version is this. The force which we call the Grand Architect created the universal equation that underlies and defines everything in the universe. Right. Everything flows from the equation, or in layman's terms, the Grand Plan. Is the Grand Architect a consciousness? A natural force? Did it create the equation on purpose? The answers to these questions don't really matter. The equation, the plan, is all that matters. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in the plan. Right, basically he's a Freemason, people. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a Freemason, and the Grand Architect of the Universe is said to be the Supreme Being. As long as you believe in a Supreme Creator, technically you're believing in the Grand Architect. It's kind of the freemason -y thing, and that's kind of where he's going with this. Besides the Grand Architect and the plan, what else do you believe? I, I, don't, I don't really think we need to know. All right. Yes. Let's not. Let's not. Go, go pick your bloody room, then. Go on, because I, I can't actually choose an option where I say, no, let the lady choose first. Ladies first, mate. Hopefully he gets the... Why are you still standing here? You should have gone and got your freaking room! Why I kept him distracted, mate. Freaking heck. All right, fine. Okay, well, we, we, we're off then. Um, okay, I guess this is the... We haven't fitted the part. Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. Okay. What can I do for you, Captain? Take us off. Take us somewhere new. Do you know how to install a power regulator? No. Okay, I do, apparently, because I've got engineering level 20. Ha! Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. I Our guess. engine room is located behind you. Across the cargo bay, up the ladders. It's a strange place to put the engine. I would have thought it would have been the very back, but not up freaking stairs. I would have thought it would have been on the lowest level, you know? All right, okay. Well, every movie probably known to man is wrong. Actually, this is like a cargo hold or something then, isn't it? So here we go. Cargo hold. Yeah, actually, this does make sense. You want to put your right engines right by your cargo, would you? All right, there we go then. Let's store that then. Lovely. All right, all that for this little thing. Fudge and heck, speak with Ayada. All right, can I just jump? Can I just jump off of here? Oh, I freaking can. Oh, I hurt my freaking ankles. I didn't know I could do that, but there we are. We did it anyway. Hopefully I get my health back slowly because that was a bit of a fall, wasn't it? What can I do for you, Captain? Well, it's installed, mate. Uh, yeah, yeah. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. Lovely job. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Brilliant. Am I going to get to fly this? I hope so, because then, yes, I will definitely carry on playing this. If there is no flight inside of this game and it's a blinking cutscene, then I'll have to make my decision. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, cutscene. <laughs> it depends on how good the cutscenes are, you know? And that's quite a nice cutscene as far as cutscenes go, isn't it? Oh, I love the engines. Boom! And we're off. Wow! Against all odds, the unreliable takes flight. Blocking leaping and using technical time dilation are the best ways to safely close distance against... I don't know how to block. I don't know whether you can block bullets. I don't know whether that works. I received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Okay. Good. I've been waiting to hear from him. It's been so long, I can't even remember who he is. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. Yes. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. <laughs> oh, yeah, I squashed him, didn't How I? How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Um, drippage, you say? I, I haven't had any yet. That's that's not good. Okay. 
Sweet. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, uh, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Okay, right. Well, one of the reasons I didn't feel too engaged with this game is it didn't feel like there was much of a purpose apart from paying this back, this guy back who fought me out. But now that I've got to pour out the rest of the hopefuls from Earth to bring back life into this galaxy, the premise of this game is slightly ticking up a little more, I must say. Okay, fine. I go and have a word with Gladys. Okay. Why do I need a nav key to land on a planet? Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon. Terraformed oh. badly. And almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Brilliant. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. GPS. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kelly. Okay, Cole Kelly for a key. All right, well, we'll go do that then. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. Thank you. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design, cutting edge technology years ahead of its time. I call okay. it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I put it to good use. And thank you very much there. Thank you. Um, yeah, Marvellous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. Sweet. It has limits. First generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Brilliant. Okay. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. That's so cool. All right. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. We'll do, Phineas. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. All right, mate. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Um. Got it. Okay. Well, I need to go to the captain's quarters. Captain's quarters. Captain's quarters. Boom, 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 boom. I guess it's around here and up here. If I was holographic shroud, yes, it's through here. We'll have that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Holographic shroud projects the skies. Yes, we know all this. How do I actually use it? What button do I press? How do I equip it? That's what I wanted to know. Great, didn't tell me. Bloody awesome. Okay, well that's that's um, going to be fun, isn't it? I don't even see it in my weapons. Oh, here we go. What's this? Heavy ammo. That's that's not what I needed, is it? There's probably a button or something, and I'm probably going to find out after I need it. That's that's pretty much how things usually happen in Captain Steve's life. Uh, yeah, that's um, great. That didn't tell me shite, did it? And it's not amongst my armors, by the looks of things. I don't see anything new sitting in here anyway. Uh, where are you, holographic sh shroud? You know what? If you guys know how to use a holographic shroud, um, let me freaking know inside of the comments, because I don't see it anywhere inside any of this shite, mate. I don't see it anywhere to be seen. What's that? Bypass, no. Mag pick, armor, no. Captain's identity. Oh, there it is. Holographic shroud. Device that projects a holographic image. Yes. Okay. It still doesn't tell me how to bloody use it, does it? it? Still doesn't tell me how to bloody use it. There's no buttons. There's no nothing. So hopefully it's obvious or something. Um, it doesn't tell me anywhere on this screen, does it? No, no, it doesn't. 
All right, fine. Okay, well, we're going to speak to Gladys on the Groundbreaker. Um, there's Gladys. Apparently, she's she's around here somewhere. Oh, oh okay. There's a there's a comms terminal right next to this. Is there? All right, fine. The Groundbreaker. Oh, she's on another ship, of course. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. So I don't actually fly anywhere. It's just a little... the Groundbreaker. Right. Okay, that's a little bit disappointing, isn't it? It would have been nice to flew there and actually docked and controlled the ship. This game could have been so much more awesome. Okay, all right, well, I've arrived on the Groundbreaker. Does that mean do I just go back down the stairs? Hold on. Yeah. Can we talk? Yeah. Hey, Captain. Yeah. I heard the Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson. I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. Mm. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I okay. bet you can of Borston Beans. She could teach me all manner of stuff. All right. Sounds good to me. Okay, cool. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Not really. No, no, I I'm good. Thank you. Let's go. Go ahead. Just kind of want to push forwards on this. Okay, so we've got, we've got. You, you can come. You can come with me. Go on then. So yeah, I was a little unsure of this. It's, it is still a little bit Mass Effect for me. A little bit too much talking. A little less killing stuff or scanning stuff or exploring stuff. I'm more of that sort of person than a talk, talky talky person, if you haven't noticed. I mean, I do talk, I, I freaking jibber jabber like freaking anything. Hold on, and you're not the person she wanted to speak to. It began with Just Jay. Your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Right. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. Well, Don't thank you. The heat. Got a few days before it reaches critical. I'm just going to let her talk to herself for a while. Hey, Captain. Up in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. Well, you are. Okay, come on, then. Get over it. This halfway just knocked out one of my workers. Not, not bothered. Yeah, with a toss ball stick. I heard you the first time. I need to find this um, Javi or whatever. Can I actually bring it up on my actual map as a side quest or something? Our ch our journal. That's what I want. Drinking sapphire wine. Uh, Pravati. Yeah, there we go. Let's select that one, and hopefully it's going to lock me onto. There we go. That's exactly what I want. I didn't think a ship would be this. Freaking big. Customs and inspection, right this way. Oh, great. Lovely. Rubber glove time. Okay. Well, let me in then. Do I have to talk to you through this? Okay. Identification, please. Captain of the Steves, mate. Captain of the Steves. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Oh, yeah. That's it. Well, let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Brilliant. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Okay. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Cool. Well, I want to meet this guy that's important, so I'm not going to come clean or anything like that. Right. Yeah, I'll talk to him and straighten you this out. The exactly. Well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Sweet. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Sure. Wanda Dorset over in sickbay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Great. Fetch quest. Got it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yeah. Open the freaking door. Be seeing you. There we are. He did. Sweet. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I like that. 
That's cool. Oh, it's a workbench. Monarch. Okay, fine. Here we go again. No one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You were here. Sweet. Big old stretch of water. After taste the rainbow. <laughs> Sweet. How do I get some of that? Lemon slash. Oh, you're just an Not advert. Fine. Steve Door. That's a cool name. Dum 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 dum. Diddly diddly dee. Lovely, lovely, lovely. This is this is a freaking big back ship. Why are they looking for Phineas Wells? I just heard them looking for Phineas Wells. And an old Yakita 37? You think they'd let me peek at the. Jun Lee Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Go. Cool. She looks like the lass from Firefly that works on the engines. The uh, yeah, I can't remember her name, but yeah, oh, Firefly was awesome. I need to watch Firefly again. There's so many space programs I want to rewatch. Want to rewatch Ulysses thirty one and Firefly now. Captain Steve, nice place you got here, Chief. Captain of the Unreliable. I heard we had someone in impound. Wish I could help. I gave the bureaucrats a mode of authority over freight traffic, and it rankles them good when I challenge it. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. None whatsoever. Salute. Copy that, Chief. At ease. Nice to see an outsider with some working brain cells. Well, I'm a captain. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? <laughs> I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. Okay, cool. What? I didn't think you just... Well, yeah. Gavati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking, I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Right! In person. Yes. Sure thing, Captain. Wow, great! I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. No problem. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Cool. <laughs> cool. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um. That's us. Awesome. Why warm. Radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Right. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Okay. None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The right, board I get isn't you. Helping, and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Right. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Sweet! Got it. I'll take care of that right now. Yeah. Hold on. There's something you should know before you go charging off. All right, cool. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. Great. Okay, cool. Good. 
Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. We got some killing to do, people. Kill it. Right, so we're going to go kill some miscreants down in the back bays. I like the sounds of this. Okay, right. Well, let's um, let's go into my old journal then. Make sure I've got the back bays companion quest. What's that? Drinking sapphire wine. Thanks for your introduction. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's fine. Solution vital. Customs asked one out to Dorset sick bay. Status of a shipment. I could go do that, or I could go down into here and get the parts of the radiator. We're going to go do that. That's going to be more fun for you guys to watch, isn't it? This is Halcyon Dune. Okay, there we go. Dun, 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 dun. I don't even know how much ammo I've got, but I have got a sword. So you know, I've got a few other guns that I can throw into my um, hands, but I've got a couple of bullets left in this one. And it, they didn't say how many miscreants are down here. Who there? Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. I would like to parley with the king, Look please. At this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. I like this is guy. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. Probably you could have stayed up crew. there. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Right. Okay. Well, I can't do either of these two. I was just exploring this much. No, no, no. Nothing personal. Let's be going. No one turns their back on me while I'm holding court. Get them, boys. Oh, great. Okay. Coming. What the fudge? This guy's invincible. Yeah, I, I kind of know. Ah, oh, fudge sake. All right, so he seems to be freaking invincible. He's got a big freaking cattle prod. Ah, oh, biscuits. Well, you know what? I think this is probably a good point to sort of end off. And, um, yeah, that, that, that wasn't fun, was it? And I didn't expect the ship to be a freaking whole bloody planet. It's massive. Um, I, I, I'm seesawing with this game. One minute I'm at a high, next minute I'm at a low, and I don't really know whether I want to continue it. It's, it's one of those people, isn't it? It's, it's one of those. I'll go do the other mission, but you know what? I think I probably will end off on this one, to be fair. Take a little bit of a break, take a bit of a breather, take it all in, everything that I've done in this episode, and then uh, consider what to do next. I mean, there are some skill points that I can add to my character inside a game. I need to do that. Maybe that might help, help a little bit. Yeah, maybe I could have intimidated him or something and allowed myself through. I don't know. So anyway, people, I'm going to end off now. Salute to Mondo, and I'll see you again soon. Cheery bye. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.